have Maticus and Remen. It'll probably be Falco Dittos. Now, I always used to know Remen as a Fox player. But here's this really solid Netherlands Fox who would like be able to take games off Armada and PAL and on stages like Mute City. I have to play the winner of Sung and Tater Nader, so I have to play Sung. I don't want to play Sam's, dude. Just don't get hit by a beat. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure which Falco is which. Looks like we're no, Remen is, Remen is red, I think. Okay. Yeah, the hand will miss. <sighs> you know, at least when Remen played Fox, he was always kind of just a slower, methodical player. Like, you'd be able to hear the sound Fox would make when he would air dodge. Right. Yes, he wouldn't care too much about being super precise. He just wanted to do simple, reasonable things, platform camp a lot. Mm -hmm. In a way, Falco makes more sense to me because, you know, like his peak basic execution needs are less yeah. than that of Fox, so... It's a reasonable switch to me. I'm not sure how long he's been playing Falcon right. to that box. I think it's been a few years, though, at least. And we are off. I only think Remnant is red. Yeah, Remnant is red. Okay. That was a nice shine. He slid off the platform while shielding the right direction. And because that, he would act quickly and he got a nice little shine up there. So we just saw Manicus get four stock earlier by Fluest Balls. We'll see the difference in seal between Remnant and Fluest Balls, I think. But, like, through transitive property. <laughs> okay. So Raven takes first stock, but not without taking a lot of damage in the process. 100%. Oh, that could be it right there. Yeah, Maticus isn't getting overwhelmed the same way he was against West right. Wolves. West just faster. Yeah. Yeah, Raven, like I was saying, he's never been the sort of player to just overwhelm you. Right. He's always to play kind of slow at his own pace. Whoa. That was actually... I think I, it was bad He could have gone in the back of there. Right. It, I'm not quite sure what Maticus did that didn't allow him to do that, but he should have gone in the back. Even an air or something. Oh, yeah. that's a horrible DI. Yeah. Back air? Okay, that works. I don't like that, though, because you can smash the eye out of the right. air. It gives right. Remen uh, a chance of living. So it worked, but again, I would have rather just seen a back air. Ooh, nice down tilt. spaces his aerials really deeply on shield. Right. Like, he, it seems like he wants to hit your shield and be far enough away that you can't shine out a shield to punish him. Mm -hmm. Which we did just see happen. We saw Maticus <laughs> try to shine out a shield and right. Rome was too far away. So yeah, I think that's the sort of pressure style that Maticus would handle a lot better than just sort of an in-your-face Westfall style. Because it means Maticus can shield without getting punished too badly for it. Right. And he just got gimped by But yeah, that jab. was a bizarre gimp. Pretty sure that Remen actually could have punished that. Because you get stuck in the shine for quite a long time for doing that. Right. Like, for example, if I'm Ice Climbers and if I just blizzard a shine, I can grab you before you can jump out if I'm close enough. Uh huh. Okay. Looks like Remen has this on lock. Dash attacks. Oh. Okay. Um. A little. He was trying to style right. a bit. I mean, but there were more solid things he could have done, but he had such a big lead, he probably just felt like. Doesn't matter, yeah. Let's try to do something a little cool. I almost got something cool, but nothing after the weak backer, though. Okay. Yoshi's. Interesting counter pick to me from oh, Maticus' he didn't perspective. <laughs> Maticus didn't do the West Walls. Okay. Oh, he got a grab right there instead of the shine. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Yeah, and up throw can be good if you catch the other Falco off guard. Right. And again, if Maticus could shield drop, that would have been a free down yeah. for him. Yep. I think it's especially important as Falco. Right. Falco's one of the better shield droppers. <laughs> oh. So yeah, Maticus got the shine there before Ram when it's able to. That happens a lot at low percentages. If you get hit by a down air really early, you'll just be able to shine first. Also, if you're at a low percentage and you're airborne and you get down air into the ground, you can just shine after you land. So it was one of those two things happened, I think. And either way, Maticus was able to convert off of it. But Remen maintains a solid lead. Okay, so I don't like that Maticus did the laser there after the air dodge. He could have gotten a pretty harsh punishment after that text after that little tech error by Remen, but I don't blame Maticus for missing it either, though, because it's difficult to react to just 
strange execution errors. It's something that you generally do not expect at all, and it's very difficult to quickly react to things that you're just not prepared to register. Okay, so we've got Kiko signing out. This game so far looking quite a bit like last game. Okay, good short in by Remen. It seems like people just very, very, very rarely cover the short end. I think they're just afraid of getting hit by the fool side B, but... And it, it's a reasonable fear, but I think overall people do respect short end a little too much. I think they should sometimes just say, I think you're going to short end, I'm going to walk up to you, and just wait for the short end and punish it. Okay, solid 2 by Remen. I thought we were friends, man. Mike Hayes almost pushed a table into me. If I can even call this thing a table, I don't know. Uh, counter.